So here at the Novitiate, uh, I spend an hour in prayer, I go to Mass, I take classes both at Fordham University um, and Iona College with Sister Kathleen Degnan, and uh, spend a lot of time in class with Mako, but also to learn how to be part of a community, uh, we all bring our own gifts. So my role around the house has been cooking occasionally and cleaning, but I also have been kind of helping to fix it up. So I get to install a sink and you know fix the creak in the door and make the dryer open the other way so it's easier for everybody so it's been a really neat uh, fun hands-on experience i had no idea that i wanted to be a sister so my introduction to religious life was to the cnds and the more i learned about the congregation of notre dame i I just knew it was for me. I did explore very briefly into other congregations, but I just had this sense and this knowledge from God that this is right. And the more I read into Marguerite's life and learned about her and journeyed with her in that first year, it, it, it was definitely for me. I was nervous to tell my family and friends, and it took me a while to really get a confidence and a speech kind of a prepared, prepared text to be able to, to broach the subject. But every single one of them were wonderful. It really surprised me how um, not surprised anyone was. Most of everybody kind of said, oh, a what? Oh yeah, I can see that, that fits perfectly. <laughs> so there was something very comforting about that to know that the people closest to me completely agreed and here I thought that they wouldn't understand at all. The thing that I found so amazing about Marguerite Bourgeois is she was fearless. She had a really confident sense of what God was calling her to do, and she just did it. What I find so amazing about the C&Ds is that they really embody that, that bold presence still, and rather than being on a specific mission to you know, uh, Christianize the world or uh, be in hospitals or one specific thing, they, the C&Ds search for a need and just learn how to be present to be with people as they're going through something, as they're struggling or as they're trying to become better in their lives and working with liberating education to help improve everybody's lives. Yeah, the vows as a sister, a lot of people see them as very limiting, but really I've found it's so much more freeing. I've given up so many of my clothes and some of my heels and uh, my car, I don't own a car right now. Um, it, and you would think that that's a loss, but every morning when I get ready, I'm not wanting, I'm not lacking. And that's mental space, that's closet space that allows me to continue to move. Uh, one of the things that I really like to do is to travel. I've been to over 40 countries and as a novice, that is my biggest fear is how am I going to handle this uh, lack of free spirit to be able to just go and explore wherever I want. But what I've found so far, and certainly through the example of Marguerite, is that traveling is, is still available and the desire to travel is really to meet new cultures and to understand people in a different way. And we can do that just here at home or through the CNDs because they're in Japan and Cameroon and Central America that there is plenty of exploration left to do. So I think my adventure will change, but I, I still see adventure. Well, I love teaching. I wouldn't mind going back and teaching engineering for years to come too. Uh, working with young kids through the robot club, working with girls trying to get them involved, and working with my students helping them to design different things to make our world a better place, even in small ways, that is so rewarding and fantastic. I also love that people are intrigued with the idea that science and religion can coexist. So uh, when I heard Brother Guy Consolmagno, the Vatican astronomer speak, I was just wowed by what he does. And so I'd love to, as part of my ministry, help promote that science and religion, they go together so seamlessly that it'd be wonderful for other people to get to learn that too.